Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are keeping well. I am Priyanka Singh, your science teacher. Today, I am here to start with the chapter number 18 that is waste water story. So, let's start this topic. Water, our lifeline. Clean, pure water is the basic need of human beings. Water is considered pure and clean if it has the following properties. Properties of pure water. Clean or pure water should be colorless and odorless. It should contain any suspended impurity, any harmful germs, a large quantity of salts, any harmful salts such as nitrate, cyanides, urea, etc. Uses of clean water. Clean water is needed for drinking, washing clothes, cooking, bathing. Waste water. Waste water is essential for life to exist on the earth. During industrial and agricultural activities, water gets contaminated with many harmful substances, germs, etc. Contamination of water by harmful substances and germs, etc. is called water pollution. A substance which causes pollution is called pollutant, sewage, garbage, animal dung, pesticide, Toxic chemicals are the pollutants which cause water pollution. The black, brown, oily and leathery water that goes down the drains from wash basins, showers, toilets, laundries, washing machines is called waste water. The waste water cannot be used for drinking, cooking, bathing etc. but should not be wasted. It can be clean and made usable. The process of removing pollutants from the wastewater before it is discharged in a pond, river or lake. Reused is called cleaning of water or purification of water. This process of cleaning wastewater is commonly called as sewage treatment. Sewage. Sewage is the wastewater which is carried away in rivers. There are four major sources of waste water. First, domestic sewage. This is the waste water from kitchen sink, wash basin, bathroom, shower, bathtub and feces, human excreta from the toilet etc. produced at homes. Second, commercial sewage. This is the waste water produced and released by shops, offices, schools, hospitals and big establishments. Third, industrial sewage. This is the waste water released by industries. Fourth, rainwater. As rainwater blows on the ground, it may pick up various contaminants including soil particles, organic compounds, animals waste, oil and grease. Contaminants present in sewage. Sewage is a liquid waste. Most of it has dissolved and suspended impurities. These impurities are called contaminants. Sewage is a complex mixture containing suspended solids, organic and inorganic impurities. Nutrients. Diseases cause bacteria and other microbes. Now the table. This table is showing the contaminants present in sewage. Serial number, contaminants and examples. 1. Organic impurities, human faces, animal waste, oil, urea, wine, pesticides, herbicides, fruits and vegetable waste etc. 2. Inorganic impurities that is nitrates, phosphates, metals. 3. Nutrients, nitrogen and phosphorus. Fourth, microbes, disease causing bacteria, fungi, etc. Wastewater treatment plant, WWTP. On a city level, the treatment of wastewater is done on a large scale. The entire setup for the purification of water is called wastewater treatment plant. The wastewater treatment involves the removal of physical, chemical and biological pollutants from wastewater. This is done in several steps. Step 1. 
screening. The sewage entering the sewage treatment plant is first passed through bar screens. The bar screen removes a large particle like bags, sticks, cans, plastic packets, etc. from the sewage. The solid waste collected here is later disposed in the landfill or incinerated. Step 2. Grit and sand removal tank. The sewage after passing through the bar screen is made to flow through a grit and sand removal tank. The speed of the incoming wastewater is slowed down to allow sand grit and pebbles to settle down. Step 3. Sedimentation tanks. Water is now allowed to pass into large tanks called sedimentation tanks, also called clarifiers. These tanks are large enough so that organic solid matter like faces sink slowly to the bottom and materials like grease and oil float at the surface and are skimmed off. The organic solid matter collected at the bottom of the sedimentation tank is called sludge which is continuously removed by scrappers. The sludge collected is sent to separate tanks called digesters where it is broken down decomposed by aerobic bacteria bacteria which do not require oxygen for their survival biogas is released during this process the water is now obtained is called purified water and looks cleaner be an active citizen often we see the choked open drains and the foul smelling waste water overflowing into the road walk away. We also see heaps of garbage here and there on the roadside. Flies and mosquitoes breed on them. Such unhygienic and unsanitary conditions are likely to cause diseases in the area. We ought to be sensitive to such environmental conditions. As a responsible citizen along with the residents, of the area, you should approach the municipality or the Gram Panchayat for maintaining the hygienic conditions around. Open drains, overflowing sewage and the disposal of wastewater into the river prepare the breeding ground for many diseases causing organisms. Better housekeeping practices. Cooking oil and fats should not be thrown down the drain. It can harden and block the pipes. In an open drain, the fats block the soil pores, reducing its effectiveness in filtering water. We should throw oil and fats in the dustbin. Second, chemical like paints, solvents, insecticides, motor oil, medicines should not be thrown down the drain. It may kill the useful microbes that help to decompose the waste present in the sewage to purify water. Use tea leaves, solid food remains, soft toys, cotton etc. should not be thrown down the drain. These wastes stock the drain. They do not allow free flow of oxygen to the useful microbes in the drain which decompose the waste. Sanitation and diseases Sanitation is very important for community health. Sanitation involves mainly the disposal of the solid and liquid wastes. Most diseases are caused by pollutants and disease-causing microorganisms in water. Water gets polluted due to its mixing with domestic sewage, excretion of infected persons, animals, industrial waste, pesticides and insecticides, Large part of population in our country defecates in open on dry riverbeds, fields, near railway tracks, etc. Animal and human excreta are health hazards. They pollute both soil and water. When it rains, such excreta get washed down to the rivers, ponds and pollutes the water therein. When polluted water seeps to the ground, it contaminates the groundwater. We use groundwater in many forms such as well water, tube well water, spring water, hand pump water, etc. 
Thus, the polluted groundwater becomes a source of water. Bone diseases, typhoid, jaundice, cholera, diarrhea, dysentery, amoebiasis, hepatitis, and polio are some typical waterborne diseases. Alternative arrangement for sewage disposal. We have just learned that poor sanitation is the cause of a large number of diseases to improve sanitation, low cost on site sewage. Disposal system are being encouraged where there is no proper sewage system. Examples of low cost on site sewage disposal system are septic tanks, chemical toilets, composting pits. Septic tanks are suitable when there is no sewage system for hospitals, isolated buildings or a cluster of four to five houses. Septic tanks need cleaning every four to six months. The toilets based on the use of human waste for producing biogas are being encouraged. The excreta from the toilet is sent to the biogas plant through pipes, covered drains, Biogas so produced is used as a fuel. These toilets do not need scavenging. Sanitation at public places. There are several basic rules for sanitation in public places. There should be sufficient toilet facilities for the maximum number of people using the area during the day. There must be a wash basin for cleaning hands with clean water and soap to the toilet facilities. The water supply should be regularly tested to ensure that there is no contamination. Waste generated must be disposal of properly. Sanitation facilities should be well maintained. Health related information should be displayed in public places with eye catching simple and accurate signs. Health and hygiene messages like hand washing, use of garbage bins, care of toilet facilities may be passed on to the public by audiovisual aids and colorful posters. Effective sewage disposal and waste management is the key to have a healthy and prosperous country. We all play a role in making our environment healthy and clean. We should also try to make the best out of waste. Wastewater should be used in agricultures as it contain water, minerals, nutrients and its disposal is often expensive. Wastewater management is thus another way of water conservation. Now it's time for readers digest. Clean and pure water is a basic need of human beings. Wastewater is essential for life to exist on the earth. Sewage is the wastewater which is carried away in rivers. So students, it's time to take your leave. We'll meet in the next class. Bye.